Alright, so for the following circuit, we have to find the formula for it and ixt. So, and we're given that at t equals zero, it's equal uh, i i here is equal to ten amps. Okay, so to find the formula to to represent it, it will be i at zero times e to the power of t over the time constant. So we're working with inductors, so the time constant will be uh, the inductance value all over the resistance equivalent, okay? So that's what we have to find, the resistance equivalent to actually solve for this. We already know what I, I of 0 is, it's 10 amps. Now, we have to, let's redraw the circuit, but we have to find the res resistance equivalent between these two terminals uh, of the inductance. So it will be and we can't turn off this because this is a dependent source. So we will have to leave it like this. Oh sorry, just three I. This is four ohms and this is two ohms. Now we have to find the resistance equivalent, which is equal to the Debian resistance here, but the problem is due to uh, sorry due to uh, uh, this dependent source, we can't uh, just you know combine all the resistors yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to implement a test charge. All right, and we're going to call this one volt. So that the resistance equivalent will be 1 over the current IO. IO will be moving in this direction. So it will be 1 over IO. We already see IO will be equal to negative I. Okay? Because they're both moving in different directions. So let's do a mesh to solve this. Let's call this IA and let's call this IB. So it will be minus 10. Actually, let, let, let's not do. Uh, yeah, never, actually, never mind. Yeah, we have, we should do doing a mesh. Sorry. So it'll be so for mesh I A. It will be minus one plus two I A minus I B, and that's two I A minus two I B. So that's the first equation done. Now for mesh I B. It's 2IB minus IA plus 4IB plus 3I. So it'll be uh, 6IB minus 2IA plus uh, 3I. Now this I value, we have to substitute something in because right now we have two equations with three unknowns. So we know I will be equal to minus IO. And we see IO and IA move in the same direction. So that means IO is equal to IA. So it will be minus IA. So we can plug that in here. Minus IA. So it will be 6IB minus 2IA minus 3IA. So it will be minus 5IA. They're both equal to each other if we bring it to the other side. So IB will be equal to 5 over 6 IA. So now here, 5 over 6 IA. All of this is equal to 0. So let me bring this to the other side. So let me see what I get. All right, so 1 equals 1 over 3 IA. So IA is equal to um sorry oh, sorry ia is equal to uh 3 amps okay and io is equal to ia so it'll be 3 amps here so the resistance equivalent will be 1 over 3 okay now we can find the time constant time constant will be the inductance value 0 0.5 all over 1 over 3 so let me see what that gives me. It gives me 
So the formula for i of t will be 10 e to the power of t over 1.5. Now we just found i. Now we have to find ix. So let me first start erasing all of this. To find ix, if we know the voltage at this region, V, then we then if we divide the voltage by two, two we would be able to find Ix. So what we're going to do is try and find the voltage at this region. So what we can do is find the voltage at, at the inductor. So voltage at the inductor will be equal to the inductance value times the uh, de uh, derivative of the current. So we know the value of i passing through the inductor, it will be 10 e minus t over 1.5. So, and then the inductance value is 0 0.5. So the derivative of that, it's, um, Minus six point six six seven e times t all over one point five. Hold on, give me a sec. I'm just double checking. And yeah, then we times it by zero point five. So it's minus three point three 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 e to the power of t one point five. All right. Now to find i x, it'll be equal to sorry i t it'll be v over 2 so it will be minus 3.333 e minus t over 1.5 all over uh, 2 which gives me minus 1.6667 e minus t over 1.5 and that's your answer for IX.